Hi, welcome to Stock and Knit Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Jane Itma. And I'm Megan Williams. <laughs> full name, full disclosure. Um, and I'm Just Run It. I went back in time. Apparently I was like, hi, I'm Megan Wood. Anyway, it'll get it'll get easier. At some point, I'm going to hit the point where we've I've been Just Run It longer for the purposes of these podcasts yes. <laughs> than I've been Megan Williams. But it just takes time. Yep. Episode 22, and we're not wearing tutus. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. And March 20th. So, um, yeah. So, I will talk about how I interviewed for a job today. Yeah, she's oh, all talked goodness. out. Ugh, so tired. It was, no joke, five hours. <laughs> I had a lunch break. Don't feel sorry for me, but that was five people and a panel, and it was, wow. Um stressful or exhausting one of the two maybe both and um and when I got home for some odd reason I felt like oh I better google myself <laughs> <laughs> like what's out there if they happen to just want to go Who out and lady google? yeah so the very top one is um a Facebook page that's not me hmm. and then all the rest of them seem to be me the ones that you know like oh plurk and Ravelry, you know, designer page. Was Ooh. It? Ooh. Yeah. When you when you Google me, you can find my patent, which is pretty cool. Uh, you should. Did Somewhere. you find your patent? I, you're you're on that same patent. I know, but okay. Yeah, and I didn't mention that. How dumb is that? <laughs> I have a patent with the U.S. Patent Office. <laughs> Why shouldn't I mention that? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. I'm not going to beat myself up over that. It's over. Yay. Yes. And, uh, you Hopefully know. good news to follow. Yes. I will not hold my breath um, on on news in general. So we will, um, I'll let you know next week if I heard anything. But I don't know if I'm going to hear anything next week. Um, but, yeah, that's how my day went. Ooh. And you found Cookie? Yes. The cat Our returned. Cat. The cat came back. We lost our cat on Friday. She whoop, shot out the door. It was be- it's been beautiful here, by the way. Yes, it's been spring and gorgeous and even hot on the weekend. Yes. And um, yeah, she shot out the door and um, didn't come back. She normally comes back, you know, when the sun sets or, you know, a few hours later. And she didn't come back, didn't come back. It was three whole days worrying. Yeah, worrying about the kitty. And we were just sitting down. T- Late night TV, so it was like between 9 and 10 p.m. last night. Go check the door. She comes in. The loudest, meowiest cat you ever heard. She was like, hey, I'm back. Hey, how you been? What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Chit-chat. Pet me, pet me, pet me. Hey, hey, hey. And she was rubbing up against her legs and zipping around. And, and the other cat promptly sniffed her and hissed at her. <laughs> She's like, where you been, exactly. stranger? Yeah, you smell like other cats. Get out of my house. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, well. Yeah. And I've been sick. If you've been following me out on um, Plurkdom, I, um, the kids got me sick. So the flu shot that I thought was providing me valuable immunities um, was did not. Uh, and so today I went on voice rest just for, for you guys. So I um, tried not to talk during the day. And um, <laughs> I think my voice is kind of back. I went for a run and a shower and things kind of seemed to loosen up a little bit. And mm-hmm. away I went. So mm-hmm. hopefully I, uh, my voice isn't too grating for anybody. It doesn't quite sound right to me. But other than that... That's all that's been going on here. Um, got a lot of knitting done because, and I think I've watched Harry Potter Goblet of Fire 20 times I, in a haze because my husband was out running around with the weather being so nice with the kids and whatever, and I was just sitting here on the couch knitting and miserable. Mm-hmm. I think it was Sunday night where he was like, oh, you really must not be feeling good. You're not knitting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's how you can tell that I am not feeling well. It's when I don't even have the um, the drive to pick up the knitting needles. And oh, knit. yeah. So right after those interviews, it was like sat on the couch, zoned out in front of the TV and went, <sighs> no, no knitting, just zone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Let your mind up. shut down for a little bit. Yeah. Try not to get buzzed up thinking about all the things you did wrong or... I don't know. I don't think I did anything wrong. It's just a matter of whether they want you or not. Yep. So... But it's kind of like yeah. a test. Like, it's nice to just know that it's over with, right? Yes, all the worrying is over with. You can't change anything now. Yes, that's true. And you're like, okay, let's hope for a good grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just her curve. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the other people really suck. <laughs> it's a really sharp curve. It's yes or no. Yes. <laughs> and hopefully we get a yes. Uh, so shout outs. I think that the only one that I had was that um, Jen... GI Punk Jen is officially off of our pre-order thread, so you can order that yarn, our, the Worse Than a Zombie yarn, um, at any point from her, but the turnaround time will not be as fast as it has been. So basically, if you went out there any time, you know, in the last, what, 20 days, because it's March 20th, mm -hmm. um, she was right on top of it and was dying to order, um, <laughs> dying to order, Woo. Uh but, you know, it was pretty immediate, and now there's going to be some lag. Okay. So, I, I, she said she got everybody in the pre-order thread first, and um, she's excited. She's got another um, custom order out there, a big, big one that she's going to be working on. So, okay. contact her if you are in the pre-order thread and you do not feel as if you have gotten your yarn. Or she's <laughs> contacted you with the, um, that your reserve listing is up. She also mentioned that if the reserved listings, I can't remember the date she said, but I think she put it in the thread. If your reserved listing is out there and you haven't purchased it, she's going to go ahead and sell that yarn to folks as they come up and say, I want it. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't swoop in and get it by a certain date, I don't know if it's 25th of March. I can't remember. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> I had it in my head and now I do not. Um, that uh yeah so go ahead so okay. uh finish objects sure i had messed up the pattern and i was like oh but it was just a knit pearl mistake mm. i have a another preemie hat and so what's that out of um just some like i forget like deborah norville sock yarn that i got at joann's <laughs> So, pretty colors. Yeah. But bought it a while back to like knit the boys some socks and ended up never getting around to it. And now I don't think that I could do it in 50 grams or less. So, mm. we have premium coming. Yeah. And then I got my hoe oh. um, ready. So, this, you know, there was a lot of, you know, I don't know, these things were just kind of hanging out. So, didn't feel like I did too much to get these back. It's not really all that obvious that you did it differently. Yeah, it's, I mean, when you're kind look of at that. But I, well, yeah, you look at the heel, it's going to be really obvious. But mm -hmm. When you look at it like a side view, oh, it's yeah, not. that's true. I mean, I guess you don't get that V. Yeah. Like, I, I get when you're wet still. I'm it's been muggy here, but. But yeah, that is one. And it fits goes over the heel. That's yep. the most important part, right? Yeah. And I didn't start the second one. Usually I like to cast on something right away when I get something done, but I said these naughty things kind of need a break and they're naughty. Yeah. So we're trying to <laughs> um, get the mojo back to work on those. And that's it for FOs. All right. Um, I've got my skews which I believe knit up fantastico. Um, the, I've been trying to stretch out one of them. I must have been a little tighter or I did less, more short rows or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, but it's a little harder to, I'm not going to put it on a wet sock, but um, it's a little harder to get over my ankle. Um, but, and even putting it on the sock blocker was kind of like... Over. But so I wonder if that's a common thing. I didn't go out and look at a lot of project pages mm -hmm. for the SKUs, but this is worse than a zombie 716 knit. Um, we had a comment on the blog that um, you may have not seen the previous show um, to know what the yarn was and what the pattern was. Oh, okay. So 
to re-announce every time. I feel kind of like Steve of Dramaticness with his even star, like, if you've seen this three times, do you really need me to repeat it 15 million times? This is the even star out of, do you remember, Desert Dis Vista? Oh, I he thought said it was it. Highland Handmaids. Okay, yes, Highland Handmaids, whatever. Title something. Yep, cool. on US whatever's, yeah. But it was just like, he could, he must have been able to say that in his sleep. <laughs> Steve of Dramaticness. Um, so yeah, those are fun. My uh, skews and uh, Smurfy too has some. That. Yes, she, she's my mythical person that will be wearing the seven one six yarn socks, and I'll be like, oh, we both have our sock socks on. Yeah, let's rub our feet together. I don't know. <laughs> Twin powers activate. <laughs> Um, and then I finished my larch, which I was just telling Amy, you guys don't have smell-o-vision, um, but my husband walked into the house this evening because this got wet and set out to dry today, but again, it was kind of, I guess that's the one thing that I like about the winter, is it's really dry and yeah. things, you know, block really easily. Um, <coughs> she's like, what is that smell? Is one of the, are one of the boys poopy? And I... To me, it's just got kind of a perm smell. Like, mm -hmm. if you ever got a permanent, it's just not real pleasant, the alpaca, when it's wet. I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. I don't, like, feel like, oh, no, I'll never wear this now because it smells like alpaca. Um, but wet alpaca definitely has a um, <laughs> has a smell to it. I got the button on. Where did it go? Didn't fall off. So just a nice little silver guy. Um, and I crocheted on the little loop and I didn't do it clear across because before I blocked it it was a little tight so I was like eh. but it's it's blocked out real nice um, I'm looking forward to wearing it a little fuzzy the alpaca is a little fuzzy again mm -hmm. this is the larch cardigan out of Madeline Tosh alpaca sport um, and after working with this sport, and now I'm working with Aaron Wait, it's like, <laughs> woo, woo, two rows is an inch, three rows is an inch, you know, it's like, wow, you know, but um, so, um, the one I'm working on is on US 10s, and I'm this is on fours, <laughs> yeah, that's on threes, right? So, it's on fours. Oh, it is on fours now. You went up the, I always, I just stayed on one size for some reason. No, I started out with sixes and then went to fours. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I was thinking that I had something that I wanted to say about this, but I can't remember now. The, 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 the no. larch is done. The smell. I need to go out and get a photo, sh photo, um, fo shoot of it because the Amy Christopher's knit along is ending here. Oh, okay. At the end of March. So that is my fo's. I had two fairly close to done fo's last week, mm -hmm. and th th those got done. Next! Okay. Working I am progress. working on the back of my lar. Mm. And I am almost done I'm on the last repeat of the yeah. back. And that is very exciting. And then the little skinny arm strips are just Yeah, the exactly. I think that the, the people that wrote this pattern assumed that you would have multiple balls because it's always like, leave your string attached and attach a new ball and then leave your string attached and attach like a new ball. Not for lace card. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm already working for both sides of the ball because I wanted that, but then I'm looking at it going, okay, what do I do? Like, you know, yard off a bunch of, of yarn, cut it, and then hope that I'll make it through the few rows. That yeah, I, I think I just read ahead and, like, figured out that the, which one was the piece that you ended up working with again? Yeah. I mean, that or leaving enough to do the three needle bind off or whatever it is, Kitchener at the, mm -hmm. s at the shoulder seams. So, and I, I was like, I just read ahead. I'm like, there's no, I'm not going to, what, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was How many thinking, balls you got here, buddy? <laughs> I was thinking that I might just need to go with like 10 yards or something mm -hmm. because I think it's just one half shoulder back and forth or something that has to be done when you attach the new ball and I'm like yeah, maybe I can just measure off some mm -hmm. snip it do a little bobbin leave it start again and then leave some more bobbin it and then go to the front but again um yeah I am and mine, I, I washed better. mine today. Um, I had like a constant stream of knitwear through the 
washing machine because <laughs> I worked from home and didn't use my voice. Um, and uh, they, uh, yeah, it that stuff just washes up so nice. Cool. Oh, nice. It did wow. grow though. Oh, <laughs> so it's gonna get bigger. Yep. <laughs> oh no. But you just pop it into the the dryer. I was gonna say oven. Pop it into the oven. No. Pop it into the dryer for a few minutes and it um, it tightens back up a little bit. So that's the progress on that. And then I have a little tiny bit of progress on this. I moved it to my double points. Mm. I was working at, on a really small afterthought. Uh, yeah, it must have been. I don't know. Some extra yarn in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I might have gotten one more like brown stripe on it. I mean, it hasn't been uh, gangbusters. So you can see I finished two things that were in progress. I worked on the back of this thing and and had a stressful interview coming up process You don't thing. have to justify your progress to anyone. <laughs> you are a full-time working mother. Yeah. Yes, and it was really nice outside, so a lot of time was spent outside with the kids. We yes. got a scooter, Ooh. and we got um, a baseball mitt this oh. past weekend, so we've been uh, using those and getting them outside. Yeah, well, my kids were sick all last week, so and it was beautiful out, and I'm like, you know what, we're going to get everybody healthy, and by that time, and it's going to be cold again. Yeah. Um, but... We did go for a walk <coughs> yesterday and get out into it, and um, tonight we opened the windows and had a little bit of dance party in here. Jeremy was making some pasta for supper. Um, my work in progress is the Malabrigo March. Um, this is Malabrigo uh, Moreno Worsted, um, although it's called Moreno Worsted, but its weight is Aaron, so I don't oh, quite okay. get that. Maybe they just um, called it worsted and then somebody came along and said, actually, that's more of a Aaron weight. Um, and it's actually the, the right side out is the, um, is the, the reverse. Yeah, the reverse stocking knit. Okay. Um, and this is the Driven Pattern by Vera, some Russian-esque name, Vera... Vala, Valamaki, Valam, Valamaki, maybe it's Greek, I don't know, um, but there it is. A very cool collar you cast on, and I've woven in my ends so you, you can't see it, but you cast on up here and make a square, and then, yeah, it's right here where you pick up, you turn up and turn around and pick up on the sides, um, hmm. and it's provisionally cast on right here, and I was telling Amy the other day, and I did this again, I don't remember any provisional cast on, but I do remember Judy's magic, um, what is it, Judy's magic toe. cast on? Yeah, magic cast on for toes, because mm -hmm. I do all most of my socks toe up. Um, and so I just do that, and then you just end up fixing a few stitches if they aren't stocking knit, mm -hmm. because if it's supposed to be purl. I think a typical provisional cast on you can either knit or purl into, and a, the, um, the toe of a sock is always the yeah. outside is knit and the inside is pearl. Yep. So um, and it's gone. It's tens with Aaron weight. So and which I think is basically knitting up like a more of a um, above an Aaron weight, um, chunky, bulky. bulky. Chunky. Yep. So it's got a few little cool um, details, mm -hmm. a stock in it column, um, the collar here on the edge kind of rolls on under. Mm -hmm. um, what else was kind of neat about this? I don't know, I felt a little bit like Robert Langdon in um, Angels and Demons and um, The Da Vinci Code. Mm -hmm. Like, the pattern was written such that I don't dislike it. I think it's a very cute pattern, whatever, but it was written for brevity rather than clarity, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're gonna be repeating something 10 times, it's written four times two through 10, the first time it makes ab absolutely no sense. So like you go through the three rows and the first row says, pearl until you come to the next, um, like when you split here, pearl mm -hmm. until you get to the next stocking knit column. Well. There is no stitches in between the two on the first time, right? right. So you like have to, it's like you're deciphering a code, <laughs> which 
which I don't mind the mental um, the mental challenge, but it's just kind of like I paid you for this pattern. <laughs> Could you can you just do the first time in a different set up above, and then do the one that you have to repeat, you know, six times instead of that? You know, I mean, it was just. It was fine, you know, I don't feel as if I messed it up, but it seemed like there was quite a few other projects out there where people were like, huh? What does, you know, why are we doing this? What does that mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've had a few patterns like that. I didn't pay for them, though, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then in a fit of ingenuity, um, I decided to do the sleeve inside out, so right. I could be doing, <laughs> well, the pattern didn't say that, and I'm like, why? Because I mean, it's a raglan, right? So right. I have all the stitches live here. Why wouldn't? Why would I do it this side and then just pearl, pearl forever? forever? Yeah. <laughs> so I turned it inside out and I flipped around the decreases and kind of mm -hmm. looked at them and made sure. Okay, yep, you really can't see, you know, because sometimes the decreases are for the pretty side and right. the other side looks kind of crappy. Um, and what was I doing? Oh, I was going to say earlier when you were doing that, another little tip trick that I've got for folks at home, other than my little um, magic cast on in, instead of provisional, when like I'm supposed to decrease for the arm every three inches, I draw on the piece of paper <laughs> so that I don't have to get my little ruler out. Yeah, my little um, measuring tape out every single time, and then I can just line it up on the paper and say, oh. That's almost three inches. Okay, I need to decrease again. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's something that I do. If you're doing it on a Kindle or a reader or whatever, that, that doesn't work you for you. You have to get a ruler app or something and then go But then that. how would it, yeah, I thought about that as well. I thought, well, you could also, like on my next pattern, I could put a little ruler at the bottom, but if their, if their print aspect was just a little off, it wouldn't be accurate, right? No. You, you have to do it with your own ruler. Mm -hmm basically is what the conclusion I can do. Super fast. I cast this on on Saturday when I got done with the largest sleeve and I'm a sleeve, you know, mm -hmm. and a half away from I mean, from I being understand done. that, you know, you're saying it's Aaron and it's on tens, but still, that's a lot of progress. It is. It is. And it's very it's kind of um professional looking. So I feel like it's going to really supplement my work attire. We're recording a little later there, Yonerson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are. <laughs> She's in bed normally by this time. I'm just starting to hit my no, show. No, okay. not yet. Okay. Not yet. Or maybe I am in bed, but I'm reading. I don't know. All right. That's my work in progress. I showed you all mine. I'm active ones. I mean, there's more sitting at home. But that's it. Do you have any acquisitions? I have my happy birthday yarn winding its way to me this week, so I'm excited. What did you get? Tempted. Ooh. And it'll be awesome surprise. So I'll just leave it at that. My fictional yarn is winding its way to me, but it's not here yet. But it's been paid for and it's been shipped, so I'm ready to see it. Yeah. Um, but I've been on such a blue period lately with all my, I mean, I blue, 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 and you're on the same thing. I ordered blue yarn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, well I, find, I find when, like, I go out there and I'm like, oh, I've been ordering way too much blue. I'm going to order, you know, something different. Then I get it and I'm not as happy with it. So why not, you know, knit the color that, you know, strikes you when you're out there shopping? Right. right. And I did look at my closet and the the... I have the um, Goodale, which is kind of a light denim-y blue. It's mm -hmm. called Betty Draper's Blues. And then this is the, you know, bright, um, you know, vivid colors of Corn Bloom mm -hmm. um, from Woomies. And then I made my husband a Romeo Blue out of Dreaming Color uh, sweater. And I was looking at mine, and I'm like, well, I have this, which isn't a cardigan, and the other one's a cardigan, but it's in a light blue. And what I want to make with this yarn is the sabbatical, which is a really long lace cardigan. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm okay with my choice. And this is supposed to be a nice, rich, navy type of blue. So, um, Yeah, today got washed. My large got washed, which is the Baltic blue. Um, I did my Fancy Smancy Delancey, which is also a blue um, and I washed my, so I was like, yeah, blue, blue, my lar. I was like, God, blue, 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 blue. But, but I did look in my closet before I ordered it and went, I have two gray, I have two red, I have three purple, mm -hmm. and I have, um, two blue. So, I mean, it's, it's not ordering purple. <laughs> 
I've already got three in purple. One of them's a dress. <laughs> yeah. So I have some Tarte Madeline Tosh that needs to in Ooh. vintage in um in Tarte colorway vintage that needs to get on the needles because I don't have anything red that I've knit for myself. I don't think. <gasps> Take that back. I've got my that daffodil is red on okay. Wombies. So yeah, the daffodil. Um. Okay. I'm gonna do my acquisitions then. Yeah. Uh, Earlier last Ooh. week, uh, you've seen this before, Green. but in a different colorway. Special edition cashmere blend worsted. Green. I had somebody contact me about my dra dark current. They had gotten theirs for me, Sleep Knit, and they are a garment knitter as well. And um, they bought they bought my four skeins from me. Okay. Um, because all they could get at the time was two, and they absolutely loved the colorway once they got it. And they wanted to make a garment out of it. And I was like, well, I'm not splitting up my four. You can buy all four from me, I'm not, but I'm not going to send one or two your way. And they said, okay. And I said, chow, chow, and then immediately ordered um, the replacement. Yes, the replacement, which mm -hmm. is emerald, dark emerald, I believe, is what they oh. were calling it. Yeah. So this it's is a really beautiful. It is a very beautiful color. The the dark current was very beautiful as well. The teals and blues and whatever. But I swapped a blue, which I have a lot of for a green. this green. Yeah, this Yay. green now. So and again, oh, this a very is really cool. Yeah, a very dark green, almost like a. Um, and if this if this wears anything like my classy, I mean, this yeah. is going to be a really. Well, it's nice got that cashmere content, which I've noticed kind of seems like it breaks fuzzier. down. Yeah, it gets a little fuzzier. Um, and it's 20% cashmere, but I'm hoping it really washes up real soft because, again, it's not knocking me out, like, the amount of softness. Like, the mm -hmm. finito was a lot softer than this. Mm -hmm. But, again, that's going to smell like <laughs> wet dog or wet permanent or whatever <laughs> when I wash it because it's alpaca. Um, but, so I got this, and I don't know. I think I may have gotten the replacement before she got the, um, oh, hers from me. So, um that's that and then i scored my first fiber knit update that's right it's yes. here <laughs> it is it, it's made its way oh, um great. so i got some oh, i don't know how you some. say this skyla skyla beware shyla beware oh i don't know it might be shyla beware in the mercy weight bait our weight the base it's 50 silk 50 merino which mm -hmm. is very pretty very soft it's very generous yardage 430 so that will make a very nice um for me anyway scarf i don't wear anything that would be bigger than would be bigger than that um and this is grape juice in the cozy which is a hundred percent um superwash and the cozy yeah i've my, heard a lot about the cozy base something for my daughter because she loves the um she loves purple Mm -hmm. And grape juice just seemed perfect to me. Mm -hmm. Just seemed like it's a, a little color. girl. Yeah, it's a beautiful color, beautiful name. And then I got the Bedazzled Leprechaun, which I wanted to comment. We had this knit along so that I could reduce myself striping <laughs> stash. And now I have bought the 7 foot 6. I have bought this, and I have not knit more than I have bought. So I'm actually plus, plus one now because mm -hmm. I knit the other one up. Plus one on the side south striping front. So I gotta get busy. April's yeah. gonna have to be self striping month. I think that I acquired most of my self striping at the beginning of this year though. Hmm. I mean like it was all like boom 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 because of just coveting different things and finally getting some of it. But I think a lot of it was acquired early this year. So I mean you guys might have to hold me to this but this might be a self striping um, a self-striping KAL giveaway if I do not reduce my <laughs> self-striping stash by the end of this. Whoa. <laughs> so there's a lot of people out there going, don't need any more <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, if, if next week they're going to see two objects done. They're like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be like, no. Darn it. But I do get extra points. This was some of the first yarn stash. I ever bought. Um, so double word score on this. This is for Malabrigo March. And it is some of my oldest yarn. Um, so I'm doing good on other fronts. The yarn just keeps on. In fact, I didn't show everything that I got in the past week. Oh, um, oh. Uh, um, so the, um, yeah, it's just so hard. Seems like they gang up on me. Comes all at once. <laughs> so maybe if I don't 
integrate it into the stash and act like it's new next week, that fix will carry me on. Into the yeah, I, I, it's one of those things that I I felt like I was doing really well, and then I acquired that one thing of stock yarn. But and the attempted thing has been in the works for a while, in the sense that like I think it was that very windy episode that she was. Um, they were at Stacy's house of the Knit Girls. Mm -hmm. You know, they were at Stacy's house, and she said, "I love special orders." I'm like. Ha, ha you said it <laughs> ask and, and you shall receive yeah and so I was um just I've been looking and looking and looking and looking and I finally found um you know a couple different options for that sabbatical on what I might want to buy and all the ex all the options are expensive mm -hmm. um just the drapes you might as well do it custom right yeah might as well make it custom and special mm -hmm. and and um yeah so Six one half dozen of another. Yeah. Pricey sure. equals pricey. Might as well do it super special pricey. Well, it wasn't any more than what I was going to spend. No, that's it. what I'm saying. Yeah. So make it really special, right? Yeah, Because exactly. if you're going to have to, yeah, spend an arm and a leg for it, then might as well. Sorry. I'm just My like, precious. She's <laughs> stroking. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I, I've i always been very tactile. So I was, yeah, I was destined to become a knitter or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, fabrics don't have enough different tactileness yeah. to be like a oh yes you were they do if you're making garments but if you're just making like I don't know applique and stuff they're pretty much all the same even then I mean I go to a fabric store and I touch a few things and it's not that much different I, I mean I don't know because so, one of my ones that I'm hiding was a BFL like the one that Laura Mag said us sent us to give away for this KL and I'm just like oh BFL so different but yet nice I mean I can tell it's almost like um, people that taste wines you oh. know yeah like they they can get all the tannins this is and earthy yes <laughs> with earthy aftertones and it was grown in a lavender field and I'm, I'm just getting there right like I can I can um, but I'm not one of those snobs that can't knit with co cotton either like there's some folks that just can't right doesn't well, have it hurts the give, my hands. But I can somehow power through it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not, you know, I don't know. I guess I mean, the end justifies the mean. The end justifies the means to me. That being said, if I cast on anything this week, it's going to be my summer sweater. So it's going to be a cotton. <sighs> oh, it's hit me too. I went yeah. out and looked at my tees that are queued up because I'm like, I cannot be knitting something big and heavy like this when it is 75, 80 degrees and muggy. <laughs> So, yep, I hear ya. I bet a lot of things have kind of trickled up people's cues this week. Yep, I'm definitely um, looking at my cotton Pima silk, or Pima cotton silk, whatever. I have three balls of it waiting for me to do something with it. Um, that'll, this will be stash. nice. That'll be nice. Yeah, this should be okay. But then... Um, and there's also these awesome, cool zombie shirts that are supposedly going to be making their way to us that we can wear she in the summer, too. No, not okay. yet. I haven't gotten... I'm, <laughs> I'm just anticipating. Okay. She said that she'd get the shirts that we were going to have printed on them sometime this week. Oh, so okay. Shannon's out there. I am anticipating the mm -hmm. shipment mm -hmm. ever so highly. Um, yeah. Pins and needles over here. It should be exciting. Yes. And then you guys will, you know, one of these weeks you'll turn on the podcast and we'll both be sitting here wearing them. Kind of like the yeah, Silly Hat episode. <laughs> yeah. Who are those people? <gasps> what are they They're wearing stocking and zombie shirts. <laughs> um, yeah. And it'll be exciting to reveal the design that we've I know. worked with. I guess I bet you guys are all just waited with painted breath, aren't you? <laughs> Let me me. <laughs> We're real excited about it, but I think there's another few folks out there that commented after last episode that they were really excited about them, but, you know, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Have a custom shirt made for you, it's kind of a big deal. It's every day for Shannon, I'm sure, with her acne yeah. shot in Lawrence, but for me, it's not an everyday thing. Yeah. So, you know. Definitely... Awkward silence. <laughs> do you have um, anything? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say, do I have anything else? <laughs> Lady. No. Could you quit talking? Um, queued up. Uh, zombie. I'm going to, this is going to be done by the end of the week. I'm going to make a zombie and I'm going to get it done in time for March Monster Madness. 
Yeah, with I think I would cast on a zombie too. I think my sock woes just got the better of me and I haven't really cast on anything else. Yeah. Um, that and, you know, when you're like, oh, just one more repeat. Oh, just one more repeat on this sweater. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting into that zone where I'm like, I just want to sit down and knit on my lar. I don't you're really want to start. You're monogamous? Any. What? No, I mean. Am I rubbing up on you? Maybe the garment part. Yeah, but not necessarily. No I'm just giving you <laughs> It wouldn't be a show if I just sat here and nodded my head, right? No. It wouldn't be me either. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that person. But and neither are you. You would just sit here and agree with me. No. No. <laughs> All right. Um, so next up for you then. Um, yeah, like the summer sweater, you know, something like that. Maybe Do you have anything a, in mind? There was one on the cover of an, I think, knit scene um, that was kind of a drapey top and it had a tie. And I, can't I can't remember, remember the name. Called. Yeah. But it was on the cover. And it so was like Chinook? No. Mm, I don't know. It was on the cover. And I'm sure it's in my queue. And, um,. I have the yarn picked out. It's a gray um, of that Misty Alpaca Pima Cotton Silk. And um, I've knit other things for my daughter in that yarn. And it washes up really nicely. And it's so drapey and nice. And it was fun to knit with for being a cotton. Yeah, I and agree. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about that. And as soon as I cast that on, I might be ordering more because I will be down to one skein. You know, like, it'll be spoken for, right? That three ball, whatever, will be spoken for. So then I'll only have one lonely ball sitting out there for... And if it's like, yeah, if it's a staple yeah. in your stash. It is for summer yards. I haven't tried too many that I really like. I really, yeah. I mean, I think it's probably a little warmer than cotton. Well, yeah, normally it's because it's got the silk <laughs> in it. Um, but it... Oh, yeah. It was a pleasure. I made a boneyard shawl out of my um, one of my uh, variegated mm -hmm. colorways, and phew, yeah, it was just wonderful to work with. Yeah, but I like the Hempathy. That's another good summer yeah. yarn that washes up really nice. And I've got some Knit Picks Cotlin. Okay. Um, and my I used it. I just haven't uh, washed it. In yeah, my Cotlin kind of got fuzzy and. Um, hasn't worn real well, I could say, um, but it could have just been that colorway. It could have been if folks out there have had better experiences or not. I'm yawning again. Quit talking, Sorry. Megan. I'm getting tired. Um, what else? I, you just made me think of something. Oh, I had Vesper, um, a free, I think it's a Heidi Kermeyer pattern that's out there, um, and Arbor, which is another cute little tea. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I can't think of. There was one that I just moved up. I think it was from the recent Nitty. Okay. Um, yeah. Names have escaped me. This is where show notes would be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have them printed up and below, so if you don't see us reading below the camera, um, that is why. So, yeah, and then I wouldn't have been very um, helpful this week putting stuff into the show notes, so we'll survive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. I wanted to, um, have more to show, but, um, I didn't order anything. I didn't, um, well, I ordered something. I didn't, I didn't have it here to buy, um, to show you. And, um, yeah. I had my little bit of progress because that, those things were already started and almost done, right? So I just like finished them I off. I made quite a bit of progress on that. Yeah, I mean it's yeah most of the back and getting separated for the arm, you know, the front mm -hmm. and back, and so yeah, it's not too bad. I just feels like I don't know if this were a Megan thing, it'd be like, okay, look, I'm ready to put my sleeves in, whatever, you know. I'm not quite that speedy. Well, I don't, and yeah, I think that you've had, life happens, right? Things, yep. other things have come up that have, and <clears throat> you're under no financial or contractual ob obligation to get a certain amount done. <laughs> if you don't knit this much, you owe me 20 bucks. 
<laughs> Which is what I just basically said with that self striping yarn. Right? Yeah. If you don't knit some of your self striping, yeah. you have to give it away. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. All right. Um, this may have to be short just because I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know that it, it, it's going to be short. I started okay. the clock. But um, we do this jibber-jabbering at the end. Um, and uh, I don't know if folks just turn us off or if they actually listen to us. But they could, yeah. That's always an option. I've been so busy this week that I don't think I've made it all the way through any podcasts. Yeah. Like, I've gotten through halfway through them and, and got distracted and had to go do something, yeah. and then I don't come back to watch the second Because I'm half. not a spinner, a lot of folks do their spinning towards the end, and it just, I never quite get around to finishing it up. But I like looking at the pretties, you know, if they're done with it and it's plied, I like looking at that. I think that that's really cool. Yeah. Did you get your wheel? No. No. I'll have to text Miss Sarah tonight. She's a late owl. And um, just say, okay, are you going to bring that wheel tomorrow? Show me how it works. Yeah, that sounds um, fun. But, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. The house is a complete mess. Yeah, you can't see mine. That's what happens on the weekends when I'm sick and things don't get, get done. Just things scattered to and fro and laundry to be done and things to yeah. be put away and well, it's always hard at, when the season changes too. I feel like we've got both of the yeah. cold weather and warm weather stuff strewn about. Yes. I will agree with that. I might have to go shopping tomorrow and get some um, shorts. Well, <laughs> it's not for me. Like shorts oh, for Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds less fun. Yeah, it's like it's cute. Sometimes I can get motivated by the cute little kids' clothing, but um, this is just going to be basic shorts. <laughs> yeah. We need to get some jean shorts and some play shorts. And My new job starts at the end of the month, and there's always when you start a new job, even if it's like went on a shopping spree, um, because you know I, they're more formal, like they mm -hmm. require you to dress up, but now it's like, oh, I can reinvent myself, you know, I can be sharply dressed Megan instead of pseudo <laughs> casual formal Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy t-shirt look at me. <laughs> yeah. Well that was me at IBM. Yeah. yeah I know. But um changing personality. Yes, yes. There's Holy always goodness. whenever there's a fresh start to be had, right? There's always the propensity to be like, oh, and I can reinvent myself via clothing. Clothing and personality. <laughs> All right, that's the jibber jabber at the end instead, of, and at the beginning, you get a jibber jabber sandwich this this week. So maybe that'll be the episode title: jibber yeah. jabber sandwich. Yeah, and it'll be like, I am in the mood for a jibber jabber sandwich. <laughs> Give me a sandwich. <laughs> but have a great week. Um, feel no obligation to get a certain amount of knitting done on no. our behalf. <laughs> and we will do the same. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, mutual mutual respect here between us and the viewers. Yes. And if you need to turn us off halfway through, yeah, we understand. We understand. We'll be a little sad, but we understand. Yeah. And we can't tell when you do that <laughs> either. So as long as somebody watches to the end, because I feel like we would just be talking to ourselves. You know. Sure but you can hear me, and I can hear you. Okay. To the end. Thank you, Amy's mom. <laughs> So she said our da her data plan was taking a hit downloading all of her things. So uh, she might have to save us up for when she can get to a Wi-Fi hotspot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll happen. That'll <laughs> happen. So, all right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye, Ufta.